There are several things that you can do to keep yourself and your kidneys healthy. The first and probably most important point is to keep regular medical visits with your physician. Your physician can do two simple tests to tell you the exact stage of your kidney function. A simple blood test can do that, and a urine test to test for blood or protein in your kidney to see if there's any damage. Secondly, you want to know why you have kidney disease in the first place. Is it from high blood pressure? Is it from diabetes or both? And in either situation, there are things that you can do to control your blood pressure better, such as salt restriction, such as taking blood pressure medications. For diabetes, it is very important to keep your finger sticks in check. Check your finger sticks at home, write down in a logbook, and share them with your physician. There are important dietary restrictions and choices that you must make to keep a healthy diabetic diet. In addition to diet, exercise is very important for both blood pressure, diabetes, and just general health. And there are simple daily exercise routines that you can do in addition to something more strenuous like running or walking. Furthermore, if you happen to smoke, please stop. We know that smoking is probably damaging to all major organs in the body, the lungs, the heart, and of course the kidney. And also try to avoid taking too many pain medications, especially the over-the-counter medications that belong in the family called NSAIDs. NSAIDs that stand for non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. And drugs in that category include ibuprofen, the brand name Motrin, Aleve, Advil. Unfortunately, those class of medications damage your kidney and raise your blood pressure. If you actually need something for pain, speak with your physician, but we generally recommend acetaminophen or Tylenol being the brand name as an alternative as long as you have normal liver. And for further information about all those strategies to help protect your kidneys, we do refer you to our website, www.kidney.org.